let's dive in and get started. Um, I'm going to suggest that the first tour you build today is just kind of a play tour to play around, um, that you don't actually work on your actual Taste of America project. I find that's the best way to kind of um, learn technology, but up to you. To get started, you are going to go to tourbuilder.withgoogle.com. Honestly, I normally just Google Tour Builder and then click on that first link. And you'll be brought to this page. You're going to sign in with your Google account. Um, mine recognized me, so I was able to just uh, pull me up. But you may have to actually type in your username and password. Then you could go explore and view other people's tours at some point if you want to to get inspiration and good ideas. But right now, we're going to focus on create a tour. I'm going to give my tour a name. For today, I'm going to call it Test Tour. Um, because I'm just trying it out. Um, but your real project will probably be called, you know, Alabama or come see Alabama or something catchy like that. Author name, um, I'm going to put my full name. We can have a discussion if you guys just want to put your first name. It depends how we end up sharing this out, but we can discuss that later and create tour. And we're ready to start building already. Uh, a reminder, this is your introduction. Um, so I have my tour name, my author name. I can add a photo um, just by clicking that. And it's bringing up past photos of mine from my Google Photos album. You guys may not have anything linked there. I think I'll just add this cute girl here. Um, but you can also upload photos, search for images on the web. Actually, maybe I'll do that. Um, so let's search for... Um, let's do Ohio flag. Let's do like a sample Ohio tour, I guess. That one looks good. And that's going to be the introduction of my um, tour. Um, and here, down here in this box is where I can start building um, my introduction. Welcome to Ohio. And I would do whatever Mrs. Gummer wants me to do on this particular area. Something you might want to consider is having a Google Doc open in another tab and kind of building your text over there, what you want to say, and then copy and paste it in here as you go. I just think you'll be happier with editing. Pardon my phone. I think you'll be happier with editing and saving, and it'll just be a smoother workflow. So once again, that's open a Google Doc just on your own, build all your text there, and paste it in when you're ready. And all we've done so far is just build the introduction. You know, this would have more if I ever wanted to link a website. Um, so let's say if I wanted to link um, in Ohio, let's do State of Ohio website, I can go grab that link. So for example, um, for your things, like if you had Cedar Point, if you were studying Ohio and it was one of your um, stops, you could link Cedar Point's actual website. But in this case, I'm just going to link to Ohio's website by plugging it in there. And now when my uh, guests are viewing my tour, they can click on that and go to that website. Um, when you're all done, this saves automatically. So I could leave here and come back in. Um, there was that button that said my tours to catch up and keep working.